Ugly in here. In here. In here is going to get ugly. Ugly. Oh, man, it's a hydration situation where the locker room comes to life and the X's and O's meets the I's and U's. I know y'all want to show some love. Love y'all, too. Like and subscribe to this channel. Also, log on to projecttransition.org. Help us educate and empower the itty-bitties through exposures and experiences. But, boy, here's an experience that Dwayne Wade, I hope, he didn't see coming. Good Lord. Ugly in here. In here. It's so ugly. 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 Y'all see that statue? Dwayne Wade had to see that statue in front of the whole world. Everybody looking at this dude while he looking at that statue like, who is that dude? <laughs> God dang. What the hell am I talking about? Boy, you don't want to see this boy. Dwayne Wade's new tribute statue is an insult to his career. I said, What? The hell is this? Let's go. That's Dwayne Wade. Got a little chipmunk in him. Everybody looks like an animal. I used to play this game on South Beach all the time. It was one of the best games ever. We used to sit there, me and my boys, and the girls go by cute. Hey, 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 hey. all right. You got to be honest. Um, tell me what animal you look like. Um, what you mean? What you mean? Look, girl, I look like this. <laughs> all right? And then if you did, we sat there and drank and ate all day. If you didn't, keep your animal looking buck keeping going. <laughs> keep it pushing. A little chipmunk there. I ain't mad at him. But that ain't him. Is that Dwayne Wade? No, nah, that's Tony Allen. Why is Paul Pierce texting Tony Allen about Dwayne Wade's statue? We're going to get there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That can't be. The Miami Heat should have had a contest where they showed this picture to a 1,000 fans. Anyone who guesses it's Dwayne Wade gets to keep the statue. Okay, that face looks like it's on a statue. Look at them veins. God dang, what is he? A Vulcan? <laughs> Star Trek vein. Okay. Oh, they showing me more. Why does Dwayne Wade's statue look like Beach Frazier? I didn't even know who he was, but that dude looked like him. Boy, I used to have that gut. Uh, I know what you're talking about, boy. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, there's a little video here. Who is that guy? Okay, let's get some response. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, we got to see what this is. Come on, Dwayne. Like, that's crazy. I can't believe that. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Um, Let's just end on um, because I know you ain't had nothing else to say. <laughs> oh, man. First of all, tremendous honor to get your statue unveiled for a team you play for. Obviously, that ain't happening to me. The closest thing I got to it, no lie, is at my high school, which is... Uh, a pretty well-known high school, St. Monica's, in terms of the basketball world. A lot of NBA guys go through there. You'll see a lot of pictures. I've seen some of NBA guys sitting there, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, et cetera, and they take pictures on the court because they balling with their boys or, you know, peers, et cetera. And guess who in the background who got their name jersey retired from the high school? Yours truly. So that's as close as I'm going to get because Columbia, where my damn statue? <laughs> He <laughs> gave me one, and I ain't getting one from the pros. I did not qualify. So, that's love right there, right? Who's mad at that? Well, a lot of people, you don't know how to act. See, this is what's wrong with PC world again. Y'all need to be raised by my grandma, who undresses you soon as she says hello. And if this world was real, they would have called this out from hello. But this world ain't as real as we want it to be. Not yet. This show ain't hit everybody yet. But when it does, they're going to understand what we're talking about, right? Because in this world, we talking about NBA star we gonna keep Dwayne real. Wade now has his very own statue outside of the big hey. Cascade of Miami Center. Uh, the statue crafted by Timeless Creations is supposed to be Wade in a moment of celebration. You see him celebrating there, but the final product is making waves, though perhaps not the way the sculptor intended. Some fans are saying, who is that guy? He looks more like maybe uh, actor Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, come on. Dwayne Wade himself certainly didn't recognize himself in the statue. And just a fun fact here for you, John, this is the first Miami Heat player to have a statue outside the team's arena. And the last. Good times. John? <laughs> I don't think it looks like him. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, it does not. Look at John. You look like him right there. Not at all. We don't have to pretend. Lawrence Fishburne was exactly <laughs> right. 
right, let's get out of it. We're going to have some fun with this one because I saw some memes that made me cry. Kiss the boy it made me cry, right? This is hilarious. So now let's just get a little more into the scene, right? Dwayne Wade just sitting there. And uh, he had to get up. Here come the smoke. Oh, yeah. Triple, Triple H. <laughs> I can't even play savvy amusing. He, he say N-word too much for me. But other than that, he's hilarious. That's the homie. Oh, man, look at this. It looked like they torched the statue already. He's trying to play it off. Look at that walk. Anytime you kicking rocks like that, you sliding over that gravel like that with the moon boots on, boy, you know you're not happy, man. <laughs> Why your hip flexors so tight? <laughs> all right, let's get up out of that, all right? We ain't done. It's going to get real crazy up in here because Cat's got jokes, real jokes. Let's hear these jokes. Crack me up. Watch this last joke. Biggest loser of the day was Dwayne Wade who had the worst statue of all time. Did you see it? <laughs> what did you think it looked like? I actually I thought it, it looked like again. somebody who had emerged from a fire and lived. Ooh, it was like yeah. Jim Carrey's fireman, whatever his <laughs> fireman Ed sketch. Yeah, Can you imagine right. having a statue look that bad of yourself being unveiled? What would you even say? Uh, thanks. There's never been a worse sports statue Is ever. Like, I mean, it got rightfully the, killed today. It really looks like a freaky, like some kind of a Lord of, Lord of the Rings character or some shit. It's so what funny. You could, how there? many guesses would you have taken before you knew that was Dwayne Wade? I would have guessed Sam Cassell like 500 times first. <laughs> and then, uh, I still wouldn't know. The biggest. <laughs> now that's good. It cuts us out. I didn't know he was there. That is hilarious. He said Sam Cassell. I mean, everybody like Doc. Who wants to get their damn jersey retired, statue unveiled, any of that stuff if you're going to mess it up? What's wrong with the front office? What they doing? Well, according to these pictures, can't blame the front office. Look at that right there. That's him messing with that mouth with that little orange thing he got in his hand, which is his face. Dwayne Wade. Come on, Dwayne Wade. Let's click on it. What's this? That's you, man. That's you, man. What song got Drake, Kanye, and Lil Wayne and Eminem? <laughs> Let me stupid. Oh, you giving it your blessing. And that's that dude who probably made it. I'm an artist. You like? <laughs> oh, man, you look like Omarion. Oh, he don't look like Omarion. Oh, Hell no. Touch. Mm -mm. He don't look like him. He don't look like he touched. And he certainly doesn't look like, who do they say he look like? Lawrence Fishburne. He don't look like Trey Daddy. Hell no. Nah. You know what moment this reminded people of? <laughs> Everyone know what it is? This moment, I gotta take the sound out so I can play it. Watch this. Oh, tell me what you think of it. Oh, I think nothing of it, girl. <laughs> Watch this. Ah, look at that. You ever seen this? Y'all never seen this? Y'all don't watch them old videos? She trying to act, and he trying to mack. He like, look, girl, and you know she was fine back then. God dang. And he look, at, man, look at that. Look at all them muscles in his face. Look at that. Look at all that damn. Oh, I got to give it one more time. Lana Richie, I mean, I see where she was going, but what? Oh, what it's... Athens, Moses, <laughs> Parthia, look at it. <laughs> oh, man. That ain't it. We ain't done, Doc. We about to go down this hill. I know I ain't right. Why I do this? Why am I doing this? This is hilarity to its fullest. Please, Marcellus. Please learn how to produce. <laughs> he said hello. Y'all ready? This is funny. I can't lie. This is funny. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> look at the big three. Damn, LeBron look chiseled. Ooh, what is that on your eye? Is that a lamb chop? Look at that thing on his eye. And look at now, now, now. That's that's. Some, I'm in shape, baby. In shape. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> It looked like how you go from first to third degree. Like, the degrees are burned. He's like, one, two, the third degree burn. Let's give me another one. Give me another one. Oh, not Gabrielle. Oh, not the. <laughs> That's how it be, though. You go to some of them fine girls' weddings after they um, try to holler at all the dudes and all the ballers and all the entertainers. They end up marrying a dude just like that who got that dodo. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I don't even know who that dude is, but. He look a lot like him. This so far has been the closest one. God dang, dog. What the hell is this going on? All right, let's have some fun. This is my favorite one. I hate to say it. 
This is it. This is it. Y'all ready? Drums, please. Woo! <laughs> Throw in the towel! Throw in the damn towel! <laughs> ah, damn! Oh, that's so good! Woo! Now, let me give y'all. Y'all like, what the hell's a life lesson in this one, Wiley? I'm going to tell y'all, and I've been saying this, it's on record. Them damn statue artists, they some damn crumb snatchers. They some damn clout chasers. Talk about clicks, likes. I think the artists who make statues nowadays, nowadays is the same spirit that lives in everybody who throws the first pitch right now. I'm going to mess up on purpose. So I can get some love. Go viral. <laughs> so back in the day, Sebastian used to make the statue. Come here. Stay still. Marcellus, stay still. Hmm. Puff it. So guys, puff it, puff it. And now he like, all right, look at, look at me real quick. All right, go. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey, come here. Olivia, my little four-year-old. Come here. Araya, my five-year-old. <laughs> Come here. Put your finger somewhere on here and make this shape. Yeah. Okay, you did. Right here. Yeah. All right, we got it. Now go. <laughs> go eat. Oh, man. They messing these things up on purpose so we can do exactly what we just did. Laugh at it. It got more love than, oh, it was perfect. Oh, my God. Look at this great statue. And then, what else we going to say about it? Mm, y'all y'all with me? Beat it up in the comments. Let me know. Y'all think they really doing this on purpose or they really just messed that up on accident? What? How does he ever get another gig if it's on accident? Someone tell me my, I don't know. Why am I making it? I have no idea either. Tell me, y'all. And make sure when y'all beat that up in the comments, y'all go to projecttransition.org and log on. Help these itty pitties out there. We are educating and empowering these underserved kids. Through exposures and experiences. Yes, we are. I wish I could show y'all right now, but I'm just having fun looking at these pictures. Now, nah, you got to make sure you help us out. Make sure we can get these kids right. Right? That's all we got to do. Hey, girl. We got to help all of the itty bitties through education and empowerment. They need that. They laugh at that, but they know it ain't a laugh that matter without support. So become a gym member, a giver every month. And as a gym member, you will get that love and that shout out too. Like who? Like who? Like ooh, Eve, Eve, the rapper Eve. You know, ding, 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 ding. Eve Williams made a one-time two hundred fifty dollars donation supporting Project Transition. It's a lot of money there. I appreciate it, especially when you're a billionaire like you are, Eve. Nah, that's love, man. Make sure you guys support this channel, like and subscribe, and go get the go get the little bit. We're going to take a window to go get the thing. Wow. What's up, y'all? It's Marcellus Wiley, founder of Project Transition and proud gym member. I'm excited to share with you an opportunity that will support our kids on their mission to making their dreams a reality. At Project Transition, we believe that real change comes from consistent action and support. That's why we invite you to join our powerful gym membership program that is making a difference every single day. As a gym partner, by giving every month, you'll fuel our mission by providing monthly support that turns into real empowerment and education for underserved youth. Your commitment reduces school dropouts, nurtures communities, and funds impactful programs like the Rising Stars Academy that we share. Together, we can turn potential into prosperity. Join the group of community champions driving change. Your contributions will help aid success by providing essential educational resources, building critical life skills, and fostering community strength. There's no better feeling than knowing your support will ignite hope, foster dreams, and empower the next generation. Join us today and be a part of transformative change. Help our youth become greater than their greatest excuse. Become a gym partner. Thank you.